Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a wonderful logic test. A, B, C, D, E multiplied by 4 is equal to E, D, C, B, A. In other words, multiplying by 4 reverses the order of the digits. Each letter is a different digit from 0 to 9. I want to thank everyone who suggested the problem to me. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. We will get started by solving for the letter A. Notice that 30,000 times 4 is equal to 120,000. That's a six-digit result. But we need the result to be a five-digit result. So that means A has to be less than 3. So A can be equal to 0, 1, or 2. It is allowed for A to be equal to 0. You can have a leading 0. There's nothing in the rules that prohibit it. So we need to work through each case. Now notice E times 4 is equal to A. That means A is an even number. So A has to be equal to 0 or 2. So let's eliminate the possibility that a is equal to 0. We'll look at the times table for 4. If a were equal to 0, it would have to be that e were equal to 0, or e were equal to 5. Now, we can't have e equal to 0 because a would be equal to 0, so we would need to have e is equal to 5. But what would happen if e were equal to 5? The largest number we could have is 0, 9, 8, 7, 5. Multiply that by 4, we get 39,500. But we would need the result to be at least 50,000 because E would be the first digit of the result. So we can't have E is equal to 5 and A is equal to 0. The result would be too small. So we can eliminate that case. And A is equal to 2. Now let's look at the times table for 4 again, and we see that e times 4 is equal to something ending in 2. So this could be 12, that would mean that e is equal to 3. It could be 32, that would mean e is equal to 8. So if e is equal to 3 or 8. But now 20,000 multiplied by 4 is equal to 80,000. So we can't have e is equal to 3 because that would be too small. So we see that e has to be equal to 8. So now let's just put in a is equal to 2 and e is equal to 8. Now the result 8dcb2, that's a number that has to be a multiple of 4. The divisibility rule for 4 is that a number is divisible by 4 if and only if the last two digits is a number that's a multiple of 4. So b2 as a number has to be a multiple of 4. So let's look at our times table for 4. So we could have 12, we could have 32. That would mean b would be equal to 1 or 3. But what would happen if b were equal to 3? we would have 23,000 about multiplied by 4, and that's equal to 92,000. But 92,000 is too large of a number because we already know that E is equal to 8, and we need the result to be something in the 80,000s. So that means we can't have B is equal to 3. We must have B is equal to 1. So we're making very good progress here. Let's put in B is equal to 1. We now have d8 multiplied by 4 is some number that ends in 1, 2. So let's look at all of the possibilities. One case is 1, 1, 2. In that case, d would be equal to 2. Then we have 3, 1, 2. In that case, d would be equal to 7. So d is either 2 or 7. But we already have that a is equal to 2. So d cannot be equal to 2. And that means D is equal to 7. So now all that remains is to solve for the letter C. And I think we can do this algebraically very easily. 
the number we have is 21,078 plus 100 C. We need to multiply this by four and that's equal to 87,012 plus 100 C. We distribute the four and then we simplify this equation. So we have 300 C is equal to 2,700. Dividing both sides by 300, we get C is equal to nine. So we figured it out. We figured out A is equal to two, E is equal to eight, B is equal to one, D is equal to seven, and C is equal to nine. So let's just finally put it in presentation form. The number is 21,978 multiplied by four is equal to 87,912. And that's the unique answer to this puzzle. Of course, our logical deductions were perfectly made. But what if we had made a mistake? Wouldn't it be safer to check through all of the possibilities? So how many possible numbers can there be for A, B, C, D, E? Well, A can have a total of 10 different options because there are 10 digits from 0 to 9. Once we set a value for A, the digit B can be any of the nine remaining digits. Then C can be any of the eight remaining digits, D can be any of the seven, and E can be any of the six remaining digits. Multiplying all these options gives 30,240 possibilities. This will be too tedious to do by hand, but with the help of computers, we can check the first option for A, B, C, D, E, multiply it by four, and we get a result. We can see if the digits of the result are exactly the reverse of A, B, C, D, E. In this case, it is false. We can then just run through all of these different permutations. We're going to see that there is exactly one solution. This solution will be 21,978. Then we just run through all the remaining possibilities and we can confirm that 21,978 is the unique solution to this puzzle. What an amazing result. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.